about tough times in the past. Kids at school were mean about my weight. None of them were still breathing. And my dad, who was my mean family, was guilty for my fatness because he had the secret recipe to make poison ice cream too. And he was too, he was too carefree with me. I don't understand. Did, did he move me from that convent because of that recipe? It's sad because he never really loved me. As a parent, he, he, he seemed more interested in being famous and rich. And my mom, the only one who actually cared about me, was a crazy nun who, who treated me like a girl. Is she still alive? Did she kill my dad for revenge? <laughs> if my real dad wasn't Joseph, was he that evil lord named Baphomet? <laughs> Whatever I try to do, I can't undo the mistakes of the past. Life feels meaningless. My revenge in my dreams like ice cream on a summer night melting away we both know quite well worldly matters are handled with care but shall we embark brother Nazareth and take on the dare sister it's been a while since our talk began can't say your real name you still hidden in the shape of a magical cup? What's your suggestion? What's your plan? Rod, the human creature you brought to life inside Sister Madeline is showing true repentance. Don't you think he deserves one more chance? I can't do anything. That intellectual animal has me. Face. But I guess 
you dress like Joseph for some reason. Finally, I can hug you again. I am very sorry for everything that happened. Please, forgive me. I love you. You are my mother? Yes, it's me. <gasps> Finally, I recognize you as my son. A grown man. I hope we get to know each other in the afterlife. To us. Uh, but Jay, what happened? You have also gained a lot of weight. Is that possible? My goodness. Ah, Chloe, stop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Mm. It has been quite the adventure. I'll tell you everything when we get home.